so much fun, right? Welcome to the Nice Guys of Comedy podcast, featuring Chad Vinson and Nick Crooks. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I'm just going to use that soundbite if you're going so much fun, and then just use that as the intro of the of the of the podcast. <laughs> so much fun! That's the most <laughs> most enthusiastic I've ever been about anything. <laughs> you probably play this recording back that all these bits that find out that they've not come through properly might have actually come through. No, Nick, you're wrong. There's still some tinnitus to recording. So keep that in mind when listening. Enjoy. Uh, what what else is on your list? Uh, um, McDonald's birthday parties. Yes, I love the McDonald's birthday party. I never had one, but I went to one. Oh, I remember I had one, and I was in year two, and it was at the local McDonald's. And the girl who did the party was called Kimberly, and I was absolutely in love with her because she had the name Kimberly, and to me, she had the same name as the as the Pink Power Ranger. So I was absolutely besotted with her because the Pink Power Ranger was my <laughs> first crush. <laughs> well, that's just cute, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, did you have that like parachute game thing as well? That's another thing. Yes. That, like, was it when you played cat and mouse or something like that? I can't remember the ins and the outs, but I remember there were a lot of games with a parachute. I feel like the McDonald's only had that one toy, and that's what they made games out of. The best games. They were pretty good games. Did you have a McDonald's party, Nick? Yes, of course. You, I don't think you could have been in that. Like, I'm get, we're, we're all 90s children here, aren't we? Yes. Yes. I don't think you could have been in a 90s child and not had... I mean, Marie already opened this up saying that she hadn't had one, so now I feel like you're being disrespectful. <laughs> I was proper council of state. We couldn't afford a McDonald's party. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched other people. <laughs> Marie, it's your birthday. We'll go to McDonald's and hope somebody else is having a party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like a proper diss, Marie, and I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to choose between the cheeseburger or a Happy Meal toy. Couldn't have both. <laughs> that nice guy image is gone. <laughs> oh, I remember I went to McDonald's with my nana once and I, she asked me what I wanted. And as a child, I just said like cheeseburger and chips and like a Coke. Me thinking she would know to get me a Happy Meal and she didn't. And I cried. <laughs> I was wounded. <laughs> the sad thing is that grandparents now died, but it's one of my only memories I've got of her. <laughs> Breaking my heart. Well, she fucks me right over. I can't. And, the, and if I remember rightly, the toys. At, this is how embedded the memory is. The toys at the time were Mister Men and Little Miss. And you got a little plush. And my I re- that week's toy was a Mister Tickle. And my favourite Mister Men was Mister Tickle. And I didn't get it. And I was absolutely wounded. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Mister Tickle cup right next to me. Actually, you can. You have, from McDonald's. You can have it if you want. Bullshit! You do. Swear to God, it's right here. It's in a bag. It's literally on this chair. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally like while we're on this, I know that we're on this, and this can be edited out. But I'm gonna fucking <laughs> picture this now. I want to send it to you as well, just so that you know that I'm not, I'm not Billy bullshitting. Oh, if it is, that's like literally my childhood dreams being made. Oh, Nick has sent you a photo. Oh, I mean, it is, it is a Mr. Tickle toy, but it's not the toy that I wanted from from McDonald's, but. <laughs> Well, I grew up on a council estate, and that's what you've got to do to keep to, to have fun. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a council uh, estate grad. If you say council estate grad, I think you're lying. <laughs> 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 I'll give you that. I mean, I actually am from a council estate, but I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That languages degree. I ain't got the degree yet. <laughs> you're not getting it, that's right. <laughs> Uh, but the way that my uni is going, I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> so we've now established that apparently I'm not from a council estate because I said council estate grad. Marie's not a council estate grad because, hey, she didn't have McDonald's uh, fucking birthday. Uh, we've now got to ruin Nick's dreams of becoming a council estate person now. Oh, no, I wasn't. What do you mean, ruin my dreams? Well, yeah, you, sorry, not dreams, your claims of being a council estate grad. I'm, I'm rough as assholes, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, is there anything else on your list there, Marie? Um, well, like, while we're talking about sad things, right? Um, well, I got an empty shoebox for Christmas one year, <laughs> and my mum and dad thought they were being dead funny, like, playing a prank on me. And I was like, oh, Santa's dead nice. He's left me a shoebox to put all the stuff out and we stocking in. <laughs> 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 that's, I don't even know if that's nostalgic or what. I think Honestly, it's cruel, but... <laughs> tragic. Just because you were so happy at a shoebox. 
I need to know how the story went. Like, <laughs> so you're really happy that you got <laughs> shot. <laughs> Storage, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen to Marie. She got a shoebox for Christmas and she was over the fucking moon with it. So you got the shoebox and then at what point did your parents reveal that it was a joke? I think as soon as I was like, oh, this is so good, they were like, what? (laughs) (laughs) were made for this type of material. And then, okay, so... Were you more? Were you more or were less upset that you realised it was? A I mean, crime? obviously, all of my presents wouldn't wouldn't fit in the shoebox, and that was an inconvenience. <laughs> they were more shocked <laughs> that you enjoyed it. That's the best thing. <laughs> Is it really bad that I want to know what type of shoebox it was? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just a plain, basic white shoebox. No labels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> Fuck you, Santa, for not giving me a big. <laughs> we need to get your parents on the podcast. <laughs> that is the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, that is. It's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> I want to know, like, did they already have the shoe box, or did your mum and dad? Go to a shoe shop and say, "Can we have an empty shoe box? We're going to fuck with that." That is a question I would have to ask. Yeah, you need to write some material about that. <laughs> um, I, I just don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it justice. Do you know what I mean? It was just a beautiful <laughs> moment. Do you know what you remind me of? Is have you? Do you remember? Have you seen that meme of that kid who opens up like an avocado? And goes, oh, an avocado! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it, but. <laughs> <laughs> you give when you when your mum and dad buy you like uh, pants, like boxes and socks, and you've got to be happy that you've got them because you know you haven't opened the other presents yet. When I was at uni, I went to see me nana, so I was like, what twenty? And she was like, oh, I found some of your old Christmas presents that I never got to give you. It was an, a like vest and knicker set for a three to four year old. <laughs> 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 oh, I, you know what me and Jack said who should we get on as our first guest and we both like Marie was up there and this was a perfect decision oh, it's, it's just bringing back memories you <laughs> me know me and Nick are having a great time whereas oh. Marie's like should I sign up for therapy <laughs> yeah I don't know what Marie could deal with right now <laughs> what would you what did your grandma think to think that I know what Marie would like now some Three to four year old vest and knickers. Yeah, like that's the point. That's a good point. Like, so obviously she's found them. That's fine. But then, why would she then like? She could just go, "Oh, I found these," but I always gave them to someone else because you're not free to fall. But she actually gave you them. <laughs> she had a bag full. Like my sister had some as well. Like she was a year younger than me, so I was obviously like two to three year old. Like she must she'd moved house or something and she just found all this stuff and she was just like presents. I suppose it's just proven that she did actually get us stuff. <laughs> Clear a conscience or something. <laughs> wouldn't feel bad that after all these years, I remember that Christmas when Grandma forgot us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is that's fucking brilliant. I don't even know how to respond to that. I mean, my story about getting pants as a present is doesn't even live up to that because all mine was. <clears throat> We moved to London, and then my mum's friend, who were like, Do you know, when you have that auntie who's not really your auntie, but because she's good friends with your mum, she's called your auntie. Yeah. Is that a lesbian friend? (laughs) 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 I don't think my mum and or her friend Jane were lesbians. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Although now I need to message her. She didn't go to a diving class in an evening, did she? No, but she had night college. She was better in herself. Or better in someone else, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, I tell my mum to listen to thee. She's going to hate you. All. Well, uh, I don't think she can. I think she tells me it's really funny, but it hasn't worked out to press play yet, so we could be in luck. Oh. And um, so, mom, so these these people came to visit us. My mum's friends, like daughters, they were the same age as my sister. So when they came up for Christmas, they got my mum and my stepdad, they got them a present because they knew them. They got my sister a present because obviously they were teenage girls, so they knew what teenage girls like. But then they just got me a pair of like action man pants. And I was like, <laughs> just a pants, just a pair of pants. And I was like, it's a shit. But obviously in my head, I was seven years old. So I was like, this is poo. That present is pants. 
Are these pants for the Action Man? No, no, they were, they were for me, but had Action Man on them. All right. I, I thought that the pants and said, there you go, Jack. We hope you've got some Action Men, because otherwise... <laughs> That's the between the generations now. Oh. You get some as shit as that. Someone oh, back in the 90s could have give you a pair of Action Man pants, not knowing whether you had Action Man. And you would have, you would just out of sure, like, manners, you would just say, oh, thanks, I like it. You try and put on a little front. Now, kids would go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they would they would if they were Marie, they'd be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll put it in my shoebox. <laughs> Just the right size. <laughs> the shoebox. <laughs> oh, okay. oh. Hey, this is just Jack editing. This is an example of where the audio cut out. So this is a conversation on Nick's grandma, but the audio cut out. Um, so that's the beginning of the conversation, and here's the rest. Because she's proper <laughs> council state. <laughs> And that's your definition of council estate. <laughs> yeah, like, they do though, don't they? I do all for my kids, my babies. I do all for them. That's the minute. You see him on the telly. Don't say that. I don't care for my kids. <laughs> Are you to describe like any Channel Five documentary? Yeah. Oh, uh, that is that. To be fair, it is how it is quite how the UK council estate system. Um, well, actually, that's a good point. So we, we mentioned right at the beginning that we do have some, we may have some listeners who have been uh, who are, who have been no who are international from the states from Canada and New Zealand. So to sum to sum up the council estate experience, how, how would you sum it up, both of you? How would you sum up a council estate? Right, I would say that if you live on a council estate as a kid and your mum doesn't shout your name out of the back door to call you in for tea, are you actually on a council estate? <laughs> Okay, okay. What about your definition, Marie? Um, we had walls and shoe boxes. What more can you ask for? Walls made out of shoe boxes. Basically, did your parents... No, 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 not, not made out of shoe boxes. Two separate things. Walls and shoe boxes. I'm pretty sure that non council stout houses have walls and shoe boxes. Yeah, but that's all that they need on a council. Oh, okay, okay. I'm with you now, Marie, I'm with you now. Making me doubt myself here. Knowing Back to the Future where they have that new sort of building lot that's not been built yet, and it's advertising it, and it says, like, I don't know, acorn houses. Yeah. Yeah? Well, imagine that on the side of a council estate, and the tagline would be, we've got walls and shoe boxes. What more do you need? Walls and shoe boxes. <laughs> People would want to live on the estate. To be fair, that is all you need in life, is walls and shoe boxes. I think that's very fair. I think your definitions of council estate life are going to help our international listeners know exactly what a council estate is. I mean, Marie, did your, did your parents shout you for tea? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you had to be in when the lights went off on or whatever it was. I was going to say when they went off, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? <laughs> you come back at 9am. <laughs> <laughs> Middle class sent, like, um, car stand and the butler out, you know, to bring you up. <laughs> you think the middle class can afford butlers? Hey, the middle class can afford a lot. True, true. But yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, I mean, do you know what? Part of me does miss growing up in, on a council estate because I feel like you had a, you had the sense of community was a lot bigger. Yeah, like I can't remember on my count we because when I the first council estate that I remember growing up on, we lived in like it was a, it was a new build council estate, and all of it was primarily for like families. And all of the kids from the estate would, would all play around us in the summer and we'd all get along fine and we'd all be really good friends. Oh. And then you hate each other now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, half of them ha are still on the council estate. Um, I don't know where the other half are. Prison. We don't spend much time together. I do remember one Halloween, my dad had bought me like the world's scariest um, werewolf mask uh, and I was really excited and then all the kids left me. <laughs> That is, like, we've gone through a lot of sad topics today. <laughs> we have. I mean, I'd like to point out that all my friends left me, um, but then I met up with the older kids and then they took me around because they felt sorry for me and they really liked my mask. So, Johnny, if you're listening, you're a cunt. <laughs> I thought you was actually going to congratulate the older kids, like, Johnny, if you're listening, yeah. you're taking me around, but you I went mean, totally the, the other way and just wanted to call someone a cunt. I can say what I fucking want. I edit this shit. 
<laughs> I like as um, as well of all the stuff from the previous recording that we did, where there's it, we'd say something that was absolutely abysmal, and then we'd go, "Shall we leave that in, or shall we didn't?" For episode one, I did not leave it in. Or shall we didn't? Shall we didn't? <laughs> yeah, I just picked up on that. Shall we didn't? Shall <laughs> <laughs> we fine? Shall we didn't? Shall we didn't? I'd like to point out that I am uh, currently studying an undergraduate in English language. Um, I'd like to also point out that it's not going very well. <laughs> <laughs> and that's for the foreign listeners, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, by the way, we are from the north of England. That's why we sound this way. Which is the best. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. Oh, I thought of another disappointing present as well, but it's not as funny. Like, we used to always like have like this big rectangular box under the tree and we'd think it was a selection box and every year it'd just be a new art set. Why why are we getting a new art set every year? You felt tips <laughs> you felt tips run out. Oh, this was when I was twenty four for me nana which I forgot about <laughs> <laughs> I told you it wasn't as good. I remember it. So. Oh, and I, I don't think we can get any better than that. I don't think we can. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll do the plug now. Then, so so uh, we'll do it for everyone. So, Nick, what is your what are your social media handles? They are at Nick Crooks Comedy. Pretty much all of them. Where can people find you? Is that on the Facebooks, the Instas, the Twitters? Instas. I'm on the tweets, the Twitters. I'm on the line. All right, on. Okay, cool. What about you, Marie? What are yours? At Marizzle. That's M A R I double Z L E underscore four. That's it. Uh, so, also, where can people find you, Marie? <laughs> Everywhere. So, that's YouTube, Pornhub, Reddit, all of them, yeah? I was going to say all of them <laughs> on here. You know, Reddit's a bit. I don't even know what Reddit is. I don't understand Reddit personally, but um, uh, at least I'm more technically advanced than you. Uh, I, mine's quite easy. I my my handle is just I am Jack V. It's quite it's quite simple. Are oh, you? Yeah. I am Jack V. Yeah. Although I've realised that I thought oh, if I put I am Jack V is quite unique, and then I found about another four people, all of which who work in the comedy industry, who have their handles as I am, and then their name, and I'm like oh, but they're not Jack V though. They're not Jack V at all. <laughs> Here's something for you. This needs to go in. Here's something for you, and it's something that I've been writing, writing in my stand up. No, everyone tells you about the, the the things about having a kid, don't they? they? always say, oh, you love sleepless nights. Oh, I remember when we were doing that. Oh, well, oh was he going through his terrible twos? Right, this is the thing that no one tells you. Okay. That little boy gets stiffed. <laughs> okay. What the fuck do you do with him? Like, as in, not that in a weird way, in a, how do you put, how do you put a nap on when it's fucking, like, pointing up? <laughs> Oh, what a way to embarrass your kids at their such young age. Like, no, I mean, like, see, it's like, you know the horse is going to go off any minute. <laughs> you can't. Only, only people who've got boys will know. But you, you don't know what to, like, do you, like, just pull it over hope that it settles itself. You, like, you don't want to hurt them. What would you do, Marie? It's a bit out of my uh, remit, this one. But no one tells you, do they? No one says, oh, by the way, you just uncover that nappy one day and you've got this fucking, like, straight holes just ready to piss. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, no one gone through that experience, Nick, um, what do you do with it? You just got to get it on, get the nappy on as fast as possible. <laughs> like, fuck it, it'll go down. Like, it'll go down. You just got to not, not worry about their safe, not worry about if they're hurting, just worry about not getting pissed on. There you fair, go. That sort of mentality can be used outside of the remits of Tinder. Uh, I'll it outside of the remits of Tinder. Then you weren't <laughs> talking about Tinder. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not just baby boners, though. I think that could be for everything. Yeah, like well, I don't know what the what the actual term. It, well, it is, isn't it? It is a little stiffy, but I don't know what the. It, it's obviously it's obviously nothing sexual. It's just full of piss, ready to shoot out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like it's reloaded. This nap is full. The minute the cold hair hits me, Dad, I'm going to piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. That, uh, oh. You know when you have a pee, when you've been busting, and you have that little, like, oh, smile? Yes. Yeah, this, is, this is for anyone. You get that, so you see, like, a little smile. So they smile at the fact they've just covered you in piss. <laughs> 
I was going to ask you, um, as we wrapped up, Murray, how was your uh, podcast experience with the Nice Guys? But I don't know if I should ask that after <laughs> that. That was the Nice Guys of Comedy Podcast with Jack Vincent and Nick Crooks. Recorded from the comfort of their own home and heavily fucking edited.